Oh, is that a label maker? Yes, it is. I got it as a gift. It's a label baby junior. Ooh. Love the label baby, baby. <laughs> you know, those things make great gifts. I just got one of those for Tim Watley for Christmas. Tim Watley? Yeah. Who sent you that one? One Tim Watley. No, my Tim Watley? The same. He sent it as a thank you for my Super Bowl tickets. I think this is the same one I gave him. He recycled this gift. He's a re-gifter. Or maybe he liked your gift so much, he decided to get me the same thing. Perhaps it's an homage. Yeah, perhaps. Well, how did he react when you gave it to him? Um, he said, oh, a label maker. How about that? He repeated the name of the gift? Yeah, so? Oh, well, if you repeat the name of the gift, you can't possibly like it. What do you mean? Oh, you know, like when someone opens something up and they go, oh, tube socks. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? I don't know, I guess I'll just get invited up to his apartment and see if he's got a label maker. Why'd you get him a gift anyway? Oh, he did some dental work for me and he didn't charge me, so I thought I'd get him a Christmas present. Yeah, well, if you're getting him anything for his birthday, I'm a large. Well, this is my building. Yes, it is. <laughs> this was fun, you know? Yeah. So, I uh, guess I'll talk to you. Aren't you gonna invite me upstairs? Upstairs? You, you, you wanna go upstairs? I would love to go upstairs. <laughs> Elaine, you are something else. <laughs> no one could ever put a label on you, huh? We'll see. I'm going to the Super Bowl with Tim Watley. <laughs> what? We went out for coffee last night and he offered me a ticket. Well, what about the label maker? Oh, uh, well. Wait a minute, that's my ticket. You didn't even want to go. It was totally out of the blue. We went upstairs to his apartment, you know, to look for the label maker. So how, how did you get up there? Did you say you had to use the bathroom? No. Then how'd you get up there? I said, do you want to go upstairs? And uh, there's your ticket. Well. What? <laughs> That's why you're going to the Super Bowl. Why? You go out with a guy one time, you ask him to go upstairs like you're Mae West. <laughs> of course he's gonna try and get you alone for the weekend. You mean just because I asked him to go upstairs, he thinks he's going downtown? Obviously. You're crazy. Yeah, well, what happened when you got upstairs? Well, as soon as we walked in, he got a call from one of his patients with an impacted molar or something, so he had to leave. I didn't even get a chance to look for the label maker. Yeah, well, I don't trust this guy. I think he re-gifted, and then he de-gifted, and now he's using an upstairs invite as a springboard to a Super Bowl sex romp. I've got a confession to make. Oh, what's that? I've got Super Bowl fever. Oh, yeah, <laughs> me too. Yeah. Um, so where are we staying? Oh, the ambassador. Oh. Big room? It's a regular room, but it's right downtown. Downtown? Right downtown. So what do they have there? A couple of beds? Why? You're bringing someone else? <laughs> no, but don't you think there should be two beds? There's two of us. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Ah, Tim Watley. Out scalping? Oh, you see, uh, I've been thinking a lot about what happened, and I, I feel horrible. Listen, I, I want to give you a ticket back. Are you serious? Or what about Elaine? Oh, Elaine, yeah. Well, things just didn't work out like I thought they would. Ah. Hello, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine, hi. Don't worry, Tim. I didn't come by to yell at you. I didn't come by for that at all. I just came by to pick up my label maker. I gave you a label maker, and now I would like to have it back. But you gave it to me. <gasps> but you gave me a ticket to the Super Bowl. <laughs> Hand it over, Watley. Uh, okay. You don't have the label maker, do you? Uh, no. I knew it! You're a re-gifter! Oh, yes, yeah, some gift. That thing didn't work at all. What? Y you put a label on something, then ten minutes later it would peel right off. It was the worst gift I ever got. Well, I bought it for you because you were so nice to me for not charging me for the dental work. The way you worked on my filling, you were so, so gentle and so caring and so sensitive. Oh, 
my lane. Oh. 